when Linda Hamilton reprised her role as the freedom fighter Sarah Connor in Terminator 2, she ushered in a new brand of powerhouse, the butt-kicking babe. And these ladies are proving that they're just as strong as the guys. Jessica Biel's biceps made most men jealous when she took on her vampire slang role in Blade Trinity. My character Abigail, she's smart, she's tough, um, she's incredibly uh, skilled in boxing, martial arts, all different types of fighting so she can, she can fight the vampires just as well as all the men in the movie and that's what's fun, it's really, it's really wonderful to play an equal in physically and mentally. That's what I really like about her. Jennifer Garner was matched equally with her husband, Ben Affleck, in Daredevil. I didn't kill your father. We were pretty serious about this fight, and actually, we did every bit of it. The stunt doubles didn't step in, even for an insert. It's just, it's all us. In Tomb Raider, Angelina Jolie transformed herself into Laura Croft and did her own stunts as well. You're not going to pretend to know how to do this. You have to, you're going to be living like her. You're going to do the things she does. So we're going to train you. I learned how to kickbox, spent time with Eunice and really just went through training, did boxing training, did strength training, which was just a lot of pressure up against, did, um, we went back on motorcycles and practiced certain things, the Land Rover, certain things. Carrie Ann Moss was a frightening competitor in the Matrix trilogy. She also did a lot of her own stunts, and as a result, she injured her leg when shooting the second Matrix film. These crazy kung fu things, walking on walls and kicking and punching. I think. Sometimes a stunt double is a necessary thing, especially when the chicks in question are better known for being cute than combative. Good morning, Angel. Good morning, Charlie. And while they kicked their share butt in Charlie's Angels, the ladies were able to really enjoy working on their film. It was like a big girl's night out. If you get to choose what you do for a living, I think that is one of the most extraordinary gifts you will ever receive in life. And these women that we play and us ourselves just feel like we're on cloud nine every day getting to do this. Uma Thurman took her role in the Kill Bill films very seriously. She gets to spar with other butt-kicking beauties, Lucy Liu, Vivica A. Fox, and Daryl Hannah. <laughs> Writer-director Quentin Tarantino has always said that Uma is his muse, and as a result, she's featured in every fight scene. In a way, I mean, I thought I was training for the individual fight scenes, but then ultimately because I had so much, what I think I really ended up training for was they sort of taught me how to learn. They taught me how to, they sort of recalibrated my nervous system. <laughs> It's fun to get dressed up and to do a ballroom scene very much like uh, Beauty and the Beast. And, uh, I, it was special. Dempsey's career hit a rough patch in the 1990s, and without a stylist, he didn't look so hot. Here he is in 1999.